Sators asks, where should unit tests be run mandated in the dev chain? Pre-commit, pre-push, pre-merge, pre-build, etc. What's your target coverage? I think that what's most important is that they are uh, somewhere pre-merge. Um, they, I think the best place is probably just to have them in the pull request uh, when you're doing code review. That is, I've seen that done a lot of times and it works really well. That is where you should have your ver verification happen, in my opinion. Uh, I don't like when people put them as uh, pre-commit hooks because when I work, I do a lot of uh, incremental commits and I use, uh, I use version control very aggressively as like a progression of my work as a way of structurally saving my progress and keeping me working in small increments. And sometimes I just do these work in progress commits. Uh, and, uh, and I can do those like on the train while I'm just closing my laptop down uh, and uh, walking out the door and stuff like that. And when people have uh, pre-commit hooks, I there are absolutely, in my opinion, there are legi legitimate cases where you want to commit uh, even if your your uh, tests are not passing. I especially also dislike when people run linters in uh, uh, in a pre-commit step because in my world, I guess styling is something that I look at like, at the end of my development cycle, like right before I uh, do the pull request, I go through the styling issues. I don't want to get caught up in that while while I am working and solving a problem because then I start keeping multiple things in my head. Uh, it's the same reason why when we, back when I was uh, into uh, video production and uh, shooting, uh, shooting shows, we, when we work with scripts, we didn't use any of the software uh, or uh, word processing like uh, software where there was formatting. We always used just plain text editors when writing, just so that we would be focused on the writing itself and not the, uh, uh, not get distracted by the formatting or starting to use formatting as a way of procrastination. As for target coverage, um, I don't know, like I don't bother too much with coverage. Code coverage is it's just too blunt of a metric to be interesting. However, what I do is in uh, when doing code reviews, I go into the uh, I check out the code and then I take some of the change lines and I uh, just fiddle around with them, change a variable here and change a value here and basically try to break the code uh, and see if the tests uh, that were added also break when I when I break the code that they are supposedly testing. I found that this is a great way of making sure that uh, code that is being added has tests and that those tests actually uh, validates the code.